PPL lesson on quick stops. Please do me a solid and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Bye bye a donkey. Okay, so quick stops. We teach our quick stops at roughly 30 foot or 10 meters above the ground and at an airspeed of 50 knots or below. It's nice to be able to use a runway as it just makes it easier for students to spot any drift or yaw. The three main components of initiating the quick stop is basically lowering the collective, right pedal and flare. So let's just look at that. Once you've got your height and speed stabilized, you can initiate the quick stop. Lead with down collective, roughly 10 to 12 inches of manifold pressure. Right pedal to keep the nose straight. Off cyclic to start the flare and get the speed down. During this phase, it is useful to keep an eye on the instrument case. So when your instructor shows you your very first quick stop, just try and get a mental picture of where that instrument panel sits on the horizon. Then to finish the quick stop, things almost happen in reverse. Once the helicopter has come to a stop, you level ship with forward cyclic, smoothly raise your collective to prevent a sink, and then left pedal to keep the nose straight. It's important that during that phase you are quite awake on the pedals. Um, because, you know, raising that collective can make the helicopter yaw quite a bit to the right. As you come into a hover, you'll probably need a bit of left cyclic input just to prevent right drift from happening. Things to look out for. If you're ballooning or climbing during your quick stop, it could mean that your collective is not lowered far enough or your flare is too, too aggressive or a combination of both. If you find a sink or a descent during your quick stop, your collective is probably too low or your flare just a bit too gentle or again a combination of the two. Remember, if you let the sink go too far and then decide to flare hard, you could get a tail rotor strike. So just be wary of that. It takes practice to, to know what the right amount of control inputs are. I usually tell my students, look outside and fly the chopper. By this time, your students should have quite a bit of hours under their belt. So if you see drift, fix it. If you see your, fix it. Happy flying days and remember to subscribe.